a film that uh, was impactful to change, you know, the game. Uh, we had a lot of films to choose from. I chose Jurassic Park. That wasn't one of the options. I chose it personally, you know. It, in honor of the Jurassic Park water ride at Universal, I, I went to the original one in Orlando as a kid. Now it's Jurassic World after the refurbishments. But Jurassic World redefined the bar for realism in cinema by skillfully fusing computer-generated imagery known as CGI with practical effects by making them seem like real animals and not monsters. Before Jurassic Park, CGI was considered a new and like auxiliary tool as convenient effects were considered. Jurassic Park changed cinema by revealing the potential in, of digital imagery. If Springberg could bring a T-Rex back from extinction, what else was possible? So it kind of opened up the doors. That's an inspiring, you know, following directors to push the limits on digital technology, like the Amazon, or I'm sorry, the American Godzilla series is currently doing great in the box office, you know. Poundless, even though he was originally inspired by the Kong and he wanted to do all real-life dinosaurs, but that was impossible. CGI was used to build on top of what the production team had already created on set. In other words, Jurassic Park CGI still looks good to this day because there isn't that much of it in the film, which makes sense considering the limitations at the time. Um, the, the blend of animation and groundbreaking CGI created a cinematic world that still feels astonishing to this day. The first, um, the film's iconic moments, such as the first glimpse of the living and breathing dinosaurs set a high bar that the plot also delivers on. The Jurassic Park deals with the theme of technology, which is ironic, and serves as a fair warning to people that technology should be used with caution, not as a tool to assert power over the environment. You see this thing get reused all the time nowadays, but it was one of the first with that theme. Jurassic Park went on to earn over nine hundred and fourteen million worldwide during the original theatrical release. And it was the highest grossing film for Steven Spielberg until the Titanic was released in 1997. The film went on to win 20 different awards, including three different Academy Awards for technical achievements in visual effects and sound design. Following the two, the 20th anniversary re-release in 2013, Jurassic Park became the oldest film in history to surpass 1 billion in ticket sales and is right now ranked at 17th overall, which is, you know, pretty impressive. That's why I considered it, you know, worthy of my presentation. The Jurassic Park franchise is one of the highest growing series of all time, having earned over $6 billion worldwide. So it just shows, you know, what thinking outside the box and being creative can get you. At the time, you know, his main focus when I watched the documentary on it was to his main focus was the art. It was the art was first and then everything else would come. And but it was to make those dinosaurs look as real as possible. And even the artists did a really good job with their stuff. Even today, when you go to Universal, it's still the same stuff is there. And then the CGI, you know, the original scene with the music and soundtrack look great, too. So, you know, for, for the 90s, that movie was incredible. Thank you.